whether they should book apartment in advance or mm-hmm. is how much was my last month uh, electricity bill mm-hmm. so i would but for the private offer so directly from the owner i suggest you go first to situation change a little bit mm-hmm. because since actually since the ukrainian war right mm-hmm. there are... hello everyone welcome back to geet vlogs hope you guys are doing amazing and welcome to another episode wherein today we have decided to make a video on one of the most challenging topic where most of the people struggle it's about renting an apartment in Krakow. So uh, there are many videos on this topic on uh, YouTube. However, this will be slightly different wherein I will be talking directly to the owner of the apartment who will be sharing her experience. Due to the inflation and due to more immigrants coming into Poland, finding an apartment, affordable apartment has become a real struggle. So today we both are going to answer the most common question which expect ask when they come here. And uh, today I'm very happy to introduce you to my very good friend uh, her name is Karolina hi <laughs> yeah, and she is from Poland she is Polish she is an owner of uh, apartments here in Poland and people are renting her apartment and uh, most interesting she is also renting an apartment here I used to rent in Krakow specifically okay. for a few years, like for six years after I moved to Krakow. Okay, well then that's great. So yes, uh, today we will be covering the topic wherein I will be asking her questions, which generally I'm getting on my channel. People are asking like uh, how to find an apartment, how to book an apartment and what are the cost and how is the one BHK, two BHK. There are many questions. Okay, so we will try to cover everything today. And uh, yes, we have the best person to answer here. And I hope this video will be really very helpful to everyone who are planning to move to Krakow. So let's start the video. Uh, so let me tell you a short story about myself. So uh, I live in Krakow for just 10 years. Before that, I was living um, in the other city for almost all my life oh. in Szczecin. And uh, over there, like 15 years back, I bought my first apartment, which then, after moving to Krakow, I, I had to rent, right? It couldn't stay, just just empty one. So 10 years back, when I moved to Krakow, my journey with the renting apartment as a landlord just started. Okay. I went through lots of different tenants, lots of I faced lots of different situations and so on, which I, I hope I will be sharing with you okay. uh, soon. And uh, once I moved to Krakow, obviously, I didn't have my own apartment. So uh, first I rented the room in the shared apartment. The room was really small. It had only eight square meters. Oh, it was near it was small, yeah. very small. Yeah. And there was just one kitchen. There were in total four rooms, I believe seven people, uh, two bathrooms. It was very tricky, but I didn't know Krakow at all. I didn't have anyone here. So you are not from Krakow, so which... Uh, Szczecin. 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 Szczecin, okay. Szczecin. This is a city in Poland, <laughs> right? It's a city in Poland. Yeah, it is a city in Poland. Uh, it's more to the north. Okay. And uh, it's very close to the Germany border. Oh, great, great. Uh, so... When I moved here, I didn't know anyone here. So actually, my first room, I rented through... I found the room through OLX. I contacted the landlord through the phone, and I actually rented the room without seeing it, mm-hmm. because it was too far oh, okay. to see. The most repetitive and important question is, how to find an apartment without broker or agency? Actually, um, It's a bit tricky for foreigners especially, so of course we have multiple websites where you can find the apartment. The most common one and the most popular is OLX and the link you can find in this video. We will share in the description box. Yeah, Uh, the new one is a Lento. They they have also quite few nice offers uh, from the private uh, sector. Okay. Um, you can also find we have multiple groups on the Facebook in Krakow, in, in Poland, uh, that the people are sharing also the, the, the apartments for rent. Uh, what is important, what I would like to mention... And third is Autodom also, right? We have, Auto- Auto- well, we have, we have much more. Okay. The thing is that as brokers, right, when they are receiving the apartment which are ready to be rent in the market, they are putting this one in multiple websites, in multiple autodom like websites okay. so you might find the same uh, apartment for rent in many other websites oh. so 
frankly speaking, there is not so much of the... Um, there is no point to search in so many. Because so it's of no use no, going through all the websites. Yeah. So because it depends on the agency. They just fill the form, right? And they just distribute within those multiple websites. But for the private offer, so directly from the owner, I suggest you go first to OLX. Oh, we will show you how to book an apartment, where to put the street name, where to put the district name and how to search. So she is going to tell you now. We will be showing you uh, how to search for the apartment. We will be focusing on Krakow area. And also we will be focusing on the apartments at which you can rent directly from the owner. To do so, we'll be using Google Chrome. Go to address oilx.pl and now you can see those categories. Mm -hmm. To find the apartment, first go to real estate section and over here you have some kind of subsections, right? We selected the apartments, we selected the flats. Mm -hmm. We actually need to select the subcategory okay. because within that uh -huh. we now have everything like sale, okay. exchange. Okay. We want to rent. Rent, exactly. Perfect. Let's filter out the renting. Okay. Number of rooms. Oh, now you have studio apartment. Okay. Apartment, two rooms, three rooms. Okay. Studio apartment. Mm -hmm. We want to see location. Okay. If you are interested in Krakow itself, mm -hmm. you could just simply type Krakow. Okay. Now you have all apartments available, in, not only apartments, uh, I can see some houses and so on. So let's filter what we want to rent. Is an agent let's, or uh, over uh, here, owner has... Over has. here you have okay. option to filter out mm -hmm. either from the like agency broker mm -hmm. or the private offers. So let's select the private one. So private means... Uh, from Directly from agent? the owner. From the owner. Oh, okay, okay. So, owner. so okay. here we have list of all available studio apartments okay. in a Krakow. And we need to select the private. Okay, private for owners. So from owners, here, yeah. We have the price. So over here on the right side, mm -hmm. you can see the price in Polish Lotte. Mm -hmm. The price usually is provided by base. This is the basic rent mm -hmm. amount, mm -hmm. which the landlord is requesting. There will be additional costs. Okay. okay so mm -hmm. let's go to first example. It's um, in Prądnik Białek, nice area. Oh, yes. Pachońskiego, it looks nice. Mm -hmm. right? See, let's check what we have here. So okay. as you can see, this is 2000 rent. This is for the landlord. Okay. Administrative rent, mm -hmm. about 300. This is important. So what is administrative rent? This Call is it maintenance fee. Maintenance fees, yes. Maintenance fees. And you as a tenant, you can ask the landlord is there like usually there is some water mm -hmm. amount for the heating mm -hmm. and there is some cleaning service regular maintenance fees and so on so and it's mentioned also about 300 you please you need 300 to, slot, yeah. yeah so this is to uh, 2000 plus 300 is lot it will be 2300 yes slot so in this what i see here there is no additional costs for mm -hmm. the at least there, it's not mentioned you might you might actually find about this once you contact the landlord okay. it's not mentioned about what if the water usage is higher than in the administration fee mm -hmm. what is the electricity in every apartment you have electricity so there are some bills what is i don't see also the information about the heating Okay. What are the heating costs exactly? Yes. Sometimes tough winters, so mm -hmm. the heating is very important for us. Correct. Here we have, you see, for the landlord, we have 1,800 mm -hmm. Polish lot plus 420 rent. And mm -hmm. it's already mentioned here uh, that electricity, accordingly to consumption, you yes. So you can see over here whether it is furnished or uh, unfurnished, right? Yes. And now how to book? For you can the... call. Okay. Over here you will see the phone number mm -hmm. after you log in. Okay. Or you Thank you Carolina for explaining how to book an uh, apartment You're through welcome. OLX, how to especially go through the OLX and search apartment. It was very helpful. And now the another question which is very frequently asked is what about they will be coming here after two months whether they should book apartment in advance or mm -hmm. is it good that once they come here then they should uh, start searching the apartment situation changed a little bit mm -hmm. because since actually since the ukrainian war right mm -hmm. there are lots of immigrants coming over here especially to krakow so the demand is much higher 
now too too much right? too much it too much and i know uh, if the person which is still living abroad first of all has uh, some apartment to stay over here for one month i would suggest um book it once you are here search once you are here okay. the tricky part is also you don't know krakow even if you get the street number you don't know um how far is it from the center how is That's the tr public transport how to get to the office okay. so if you have any place to stay better you come here and then you do the research uh, my other advice is also to have anyone local that's also something i experience um even if you have the street again you have the street number usually in the advertise of the rented apartment you still don't know how far actually it is it is it's prov you can check yes yes yeah, that is completely i don't know or which area is good for you and so on so it's very good if you have someone local over here but so what we understood is that you know see for it is not possible for everyone to have local here maybe few fortunate they might have right <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so her advice is that not a good idea to book in advance it's totally depend on you yeah is what about the security deposit so basically every apartment which you would like to rent they will ask you for the deposit right security yes. deposit yes. and so on so uh, the amount of it now it's very usually and it used to be like that since i remember usually uh, the amount was like one month rent the one month rent for the owners so if you are looking for the other ads so this is the amount which the owners required without the administration fee. Nowadays, it's starting to be more and more common that the landlord is asking for two or even three months of the rent as a deposit. Oh, is it? Okay. Yes, okay. it's it's not uncommon in France and Germany, but I saw also it started to be mm -hmm. the case in Poland. Okay. And the Over here, the broker agents they ask for one month uh, rental for for the fee. Mm -hmm. One month rental means that the the rental without the administration fee, right? Without yes. Without the administration okay, fee. Okay. So suppose two thousand is the rent plus mm -hmm. five hundred is administration fees. Yeah. So uh, the agent will charge two thousand. Two thousand exactly. Is there any hidden charges? Sometimes uh, they ask also. Yes. Uh, about the taxes so they ask you to pay 2000 plus the tax tax okay so so now we understood uh, the security deposit and uh, the charges for the agent and the last question which i will be asking to carolina because she must be thinking that how many questions i have we have so <laughs> the last question which i will uh, ask and end the vlog here will be the what are, what are the other things that can impact the cost the final cost the final yeah. cost yes the final cost ah, i think the final cost might differ because of multiple things mm -hmm. What I'm thinking about is, mm -hmm. I would start with the heating type okay. because it's uh, basically you have in Poland three types of heating type, and as you know, heating is very important. Of course, important. of course, very, very important. important. And now, as, as you can see, see, and you can see, see? outside <laughs> it's like full snowfall. Yeah, so, so you need the proper heating. Proper first heating. So, so this is what you also would like to check if the, your. A dream apartment which we would like to rent. Yes, and uh, I know there are uh, central heating and gas heating, which she will be telling the difference between. And of course, there is a huge difference in the price as well, which tenants should know. Yeah. So, so the central heating it's considered the most the, the cheapest one. Uh, this is comes kind of from the government. It comes from outside mm -hmm. and so on. We have two more actually electric. Okay. Um, heating types, gas, as you mentioned, and the electric one. The electric one is the most costly one, especially with the most, uh, recent inflation and price raise. Yes. There is also gas heating, and you can easily, um, even after entering or looking at the pictures, you can easily distinguish what kind of heating type you have. So heating type, it's very important for you to check before you uh, contact the, the, the landlord, before you go to see the apartment. Okay. The other thing which um, might impact the final price, it's a uh, water. Yes. It's water consumption. Yes. You need to pay attention if in the administrative in administration fee, sorry, in administration fee, you have some water usage already included or not. Okay. That very differs from landlord to landlord how they put the price. Uh, so average usage, for example, for two people is six uh, meters of cold water, four meters of hot water. 
the other thing for sure the electricity electricity yes it, which is an additional charge yes it is an additional charge yes. in most of the ads so uh, this is like in every apartment you have the electricity yes. so in every apartment you will have some cost sometimes in the ads it is already included in the fee usually it's not okay yeah uh, one more thing i would like to tell you here like uh, i remember one of my subscriber he asked me one question that how much was my last month uh, electricity bill mm. so i would like to tell that it was 130 zloty which we receive and thank you so much carolina it was great talking to you thank you so much for your time it was really a pleasure to talk with you Pete. time guys i hope you all enjoy this video if you like the video please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you i hope now <laughs> stop okay okay i'm serious yeah don't be serious also you can smile also come on start you can just smile uh by the security the uh, deposit yes okay? so we simply call it deposit wait. actually wait people will understand is going from here till here <laughs>